In a row of carved faces at the top of the lintel, Rodin put the likenesses of some of the women he'd known throughout his life. Rose Bure was still with him after more than 50 years. Camille Claudel spent long periods in mental asylums until her death in 1943. My last years are crowned with roses. I'm surrounded by beautiful women, and nothing is so sweet. They flocked to meet him, now the most famous sculptor in the world. Some were friends rather than lovers, like the great actress Eleonora Duza and the famous concert performer Wanda Landowska. The American dancer Isadora Duncan sought him out and, coming to worship at the shrine, found that the old fires were by no means dead. My pilgrimage to the master was a search for the way of Apollo, not of Eros. I danced an idyll of Theocritus and began to explain to him my theories of Attic dance and movement. He did not appear to be listening to them and advanced towards me, his eyes blazing, with the same expression he had in front of his own sculptures. He ran his hands over my neck and breast and then my hips and he stroked my arms. He began to knead my whole body as if it were clay, while from him emanated heat that scorched and melted me. My whole desire was to yield to him my entire being, and I would have done so if it had not been that my upbringing caused me to become frightened, and I threw my dress over my tunic and withdrew, sending him away bewildered. There were many others, but in his old age, one woman in particular took over Rodin's affections and many of his business interests. The Duchess of Choiseul was an American who'd married into the French nobility, and the effect she had on Rodin horrified his friends. The poet Rilke. The terrible Choiseul woman, she has taken him over completely. He has become her baby. Every day adds something more grotesque and ridiculous to his old age. And the old man says he loves this creature as he has never loved before. And Judith Cladell, uncharacteristically scathing. She's reorganized his wardrobe and made him affect a modern hairstyle. She chatters ceaselessly, powdered and painted, hair dyed like a vaudeville actress trying to break into society. She dances the bourre to inspire him and divert his friends. She's persuaded him to separate from Rose. What dreams had been conjured by this ludicrous woman? My little friend dances for me with a passionate ardor. She advances like Minerva of bygone days. She is like a proud caryatid, all her charms in battle array. At last, Rodin was persuaded by his friends to end the affair. Judith Cladell describes his homecoming. He had sent a message to Rose at Meudon that he would be there in the evening after his day's work. She waited at the end of the avenue of chestnut trees for her aging husband. Bonsoir, Rose. 
Bonsoir, mon ami, was her reply as she took him by the arm and led him towards the house. My good Rose, I send you this letter as a reflection of the greatness of the gift God made in placing you by my side. Put this in your generous heart. I shall return on Tuesday. Even the flowers have their setting sun. an artist's model, becomes the old helmet maker's beautiful wife, the subject taken by Rodin from a poem by Villon. When I think of the good days, what I was then and what I am become, when I look at my naked body and see so much that has changed, poor, skinny, dried up, shriveled, I am almost completely filled with anger. But the blows of time cannot deprive us of beauty. If time changes the details, it adds to the plains a new grandeur. It returns almost as much as it takes away. I turned down many men because of one to whom I gave myself. He could have dragged me through the mud or trod me underfoot. I'd still have loved. Bure finally received her reward for long and faithful service. Rodin married her in 1917. She was 72. She died two weeks after the wedding. Within a year, Rodin himself was dead. The artist simply gives shape to his own dreams. I do not ask, as Goethe did, for more light. I would not lose the mystery of that marvelous grotto where all the thousand and one nights are found. I stop myself there. I haven't got any more memories of Rodin. I didn't see him very much after that. And then he died. But I, he was very good to me. And I was so proud of knowing him. When he was a young man, he used to model a hand. Quite small, half the size of life. Little, 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 little things, that sort of size, you know. Little hands. And he never threw one away. He kept clay squeezes of them, and they were arranged in drawers, shallow drawers about that wide, which wanted very carefully opening so they didn't stick, and there were all these little tiny hands, and I loved looking at them. And uh, he showed me the hands, and he, we picked out one or two that were particularly good, and... Uh, he, I remember him with one little hand in each of his, smiling and saying, how good they are. That is how I remember Rodin. Alors vous, madame, bien vite. 
Je m'en pas même à prix fou. 